All right, um, what we're going to do, just try to download um, the PLC program to Prophecy, GE PLC. Um, let's see here. So we start by opening a uh, version of Prophecy. And what we're going to want to do is... Uh, First thing you're going to do is open your program. And I think in this case, Alex, you're going to need 1680-61. Once you open it, you might need to go to control panel and find out what COM your cable is on. And I think you know how to do that, but just in case you forgot, you're going to go to system device manager and then you're going to go to uh, right here USB to serial so in this case I'm working with COM4 so now that you know that you can close all this out and then um, you're going to click PLC here you're going to go to COM4 and then you're going to hit or you can you hit the lightning bolt or you can right click and hit go online <coughs> once you're online you're, you're connected you can see down here it's got uh, right now it's stopped it says configuration not equal logic not equal and it's basically it's not running now you hit the green hand to go online and right now it's asking me if I want to download so I'm gonna go ahead and hit download now make sure you tick write all items to flash memory and then hit OK Once you do that, it's going to download to the PLC. And once it's downloaded, you'll see this little symbol change. It won't have that red X on it no more. And then all this will say something different. So now you can see it's downloaded. It's got the same configuration equal and logic equal. And from there you're, you're pretty much done. Now if I were to go and close this and open another program, like I'll open this chiller program. Once I go online, the software is going to pick up that, hey, this program isn't the same. So you see right here where it's not equal? Configuration not equal, logic not equal. So that tells me that it, they don't match. <coughs> 